friends welcome back uh, in this video today we shall see how to post an outgoing invoice that is an invoice that we raise so if we deliver uh, the goods or services to our customer we raise an invoice which is typically done by the uh, finance people who are looking after the receivables and sales uh, or sometimes the sales department themselves so in the financial accounting uh, apps group we have uh, uh, an app already added for this which is creating outgoing invoices so we go there and the company code that we are working on is us00 we all know it and within the company code first of all just like uh, uh, in the incoming invoices uh, we, we had a mention of vendor over here we have a mention of customer so if you want to customer for example the customer was I remember big apple bike so it was one of the possible potential customers and as we have been discussing in earlier videos that uh, with the same name there are many customers opened just because uh, for every student uh, the same customer has been created more uh, separately so you will see the ids of the customer different but uh, the names are same and you are supposed to use the customer with uh, the last three digits uh, matched to your id that is your user id so one way of doing it is to search from among the those which are available or you can see all the search results uh, and you can search from here or rather another way of doing it is that you close it and you just uh, go to f4 and in the search term you mention your search term my search term is triple zero and then you find all the customers which are specific to you created for you to use and over here uh, these are the customers uh, and uh, in over here you can see uh, various customers and the one which we are going to use is the big apple bikes so potentially that customer should be here uh, with name big apple bikes so let's so this one right so there are not a plenty of many ones to search from uh, you can i think sort it from here as well if you want so uh, so the sorting is probably not working uh, so uh, we just so it's sort by quantity you can sort by postal code uh, i'm not sure how to, okay so we double click it we click it it works so we click it it works so we can sort it on name as well uh, i'm not sure how does it work so anyway uh, it's a behavior it's a bit jano german so anyway so big apple bikes this is the, uh, uh, no this is not the one so uh, let me recall it by number so this is the customer that i'm interested in the invoice date i mentioned this is the today's date so document date and invoice date are same the amount for example i press enter so that the system accepts it and you see the name of the customer over here on the right hand side once the code was given here and the amount say it is 1201 us dollars so this is actually the debit part of the entry that the system is going to debit the customer account uh, if you press enter you would see some un uh, uh, settled balance so debit has been mentioned the credit is not there so a red sign over here and in, in these line items you need to mention the credit one so i want to credit it to the sales revenue so there's not no account with sales so what's happening is, as I have told you earlier in the last video, is that this, this sort of search is not working in the GL account. So what we can do is we can offer a GL account through F4. So we go there in the long text, I type sales, and then I press enter. And then I have all the accounts which are sales and potentially we are going to use only those accounts which are ending with at least Two double zero or three triple zeros and which are uh, which are so this is the one account sales revenue account which is the default account in the chart of account although you can make use of any other account uh, but these are the specific account created by different users so this was created by user 070 this was for example created by user 57 and this is the standard one so we go to this account and the amount is 1201 so press enter and the system says that GL account is relevant for tax. Okay, we need to override it. So we press enter again. And amount requires an assignment to CO objects. So we need to mention a CO object over here as well. And that CO object is the cost center. Although uh, 
uh, it should be preferably a, be an a revenue center uh, but uh, uh, a profit center, but uh, uh, we are not going into that detail. So we give the cost center and let's try again. It's again asking for the code. I press enter again and the system has accepted it. Green light is there. The balance is nil and I just post. So again uh, on the posting, there is a text error. So in order to override it, I press enter. And as soon as I press enter, the system gives me the command that the system has uh, posted this document. 18000726. So this document has been posted. You note that the document number is a bit different number, and the way the system is uh, uh, saying that the document is saved is also different. So just to mention on a side note, on the lighter side, that within the Fury application, this particular app is not on the background is not Fury based because you don't see any error over here from which you can directly move on to home. Uh, so this is uh, although on the front end there was a fury but it is working in GUI web GUI mode so we need to go back in order to go to the home uh, and also this message and this uh, uh, not working of uh, automatic search is also are some of the indicators that uh, this layout uh, this uh, user interface is a bit different from the standard fury interface so some of the apps SAP is converted into purely fury based apps and some of them are still working in GUI mode web GUI mode so this is the one which is working in the web GUI mode but this is something which is on the lighter side you don't need to remember it we did just need to put the data so in the next video we shall see uh, how to pay for this uh, how to collect payment from this customer but before doing this I will be making a couple of other invoices entered in this customer so then let me in so that when we collect the payment we shall have a choice of which invoice payment we are going to collect so thank you uh, in the next video we shall see the payment the collection